Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at how we can start to set up our loot bag widget for our RPG game. Now if you take a quick look at my screen here, you can see I've got this little pop up box which will show you that you have found some items and you have also found some coins and we're going to be implementing this into the game. Now as of right now, when you jump into the game and then kill an enemy, um, you will see that we have a little loot bag that pops up on the ground. However, when we walk over it, when we collect it essentially, it doesn't really do anything. So what we're going to be doing is when you walk over it, it's going to pop up with this little widget and then get the mouse cursor to show and all of that good stuff. Now, some of the functionality for this loot bag, like finding items, getting the currency, saving the currency to inventory and stuff like that, we are going to be doing over the next few videos. But for now, let's go ahead and show you how you can get the widget to pop up on your screen. Now, one thing that I do want to mention before I go any further is you need to make sure that you have the latest version of the RPG HUD where we have all of these graphical elements for this loot bag. Now, if you haven't got them already, just go ahead and download them from the resources project sorry the resources page on my website and then within there you should just have HUD assets and you can see I've exported out a couple of extra images. The images that we need for now is loot bg and close rollover and close normal and we're good to go from there. So now that we've done this, let's go ahead and start putting the widget together. Now I want to, I want this to be completely separate from the HUD, so I'm going to right click on my content browser and I'm going to create a new blueprint widget. And then this is just going to be dedicated to just the loot bag, which is going to make things nice and simple and nice and easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this loot, uh, sorry, loot bag widget. And then once I've done that, I'm just going to open this up and from there we can start putting all of the elements into it. Now if I open up my graphical preview of what I've got here, we're going to try and break this down into like the sort of elements that we're going to need. Now those elements being a button in the top right hand corner to close the bag. We're going to need the background, which is going to be an image. It's not going to change. It's not going to be dynamic. So just an image is fine. And then we've also got some text for the currency that they found and also an icon for, you know, the currency that's not going to change either. So that's just going to be an image. So we need to go and put those elements in there. So the first one is going to be one big image for the loot bag. And then you're going to have a button to close it in the top right there. And then you're also going to have a second image for the currency icon and you're also going to have some text for the amount of currency that they found. Now these look pretty basic for now and they don't look anything like you can see in my Photoshop document. And to do that, we need to close this widget for a second, open up our HUD assets and then from here we are just going to select the files that we need, those being close normal, close rollover and loot bag and then just drag and drop them into our content browser to import them into the engine ready for them to be used. So back in my blueprints folder, let's open up our loot bag widget and start working on the graphical side. So starting off with a button. Um, actually, you know what, I'm going to start with the background first. So for the image, just go to appearance, brush, and then for image, you want to set this to loot BG, just like that. And then with this, you want to make sure your image size down here is the same as it is up here. So it keeps the same aspect ratio and, you know, the sizing that I put down on the HUD. Now I'm just going to set this to 380, which you can see here. And then the other one's 491. So I'm going to set this for size Y, 491, and you can see it's now stretched to the size that I want it to. Now, as for anchoring, I'm going to anchor this into the center of the screen. And then, moving on to the little button, let's get this in here. So this time, we are going to go to Style, and then for the Normal, we are going to set this to Close underscore Normal, set your margin to zero, just to fix up the way that it looks. And then for image size, you can see it's 40 and 40. Just set this over here for X and Y. So 40 and 40 and we're all good. Make sure you're also anchoring this to the center. And you're just gonna to wanna to put this in the top right hand corner 
of our little widget here. So moving on, let's do the same thing for hovered, but this time we're going to use close underscore rollover, set your margin to zero and you're all good. And then lastly, for the press, you want it to go back to the normal one. So close underscore normal margin, set this to zero and we're good to go. And our button is now going to look quite nice. Now, moving on to the other elements, we've got a little piece of text which goes down here and we've also got the icon. So the icon should be called, the image for it should be called coins. And then with this, if we just set the size for this to 24 by 24, as you see it down here, drag and drop this into place. And then for our text, what we wanna do is just set the color so it's the same as the text that we've got up here. Or you can also do it as the one we had before, which is sort of like this, uh, it was like a, like this sort of color here and that looks good to me and I'm going to press OK and I'm also going to change the font style to light to make it nice and small and I'm also going to change my font size down to something like 13. I'm going to keep this left aligned and I'm just going to scale my little text box down like this and just place it next to my currency. Now just to make sure I know what this is going to look like I'm just going to set this to like 018 or something and then just make it go where I want it to go. With these elements, make sure you are center aligning them. When I say center aligning, I mean center anchoring them. So anchor your text to the center and also anchor your coins to the center like you did with a background. And for me, this looks about right. So what I'm gonna do now then is quickly make the button so when you click it, that it is going to close this little widget. So what I'm gonna do is go down to the bottom of my details panel with the button selected unclicked and when you click this I am simply going to tell it to remove from parent with the target being itself this is essentially closing the widget and it's gone for good and it's as simple as that. So the next bit the more complicated bit now then is going to be getting this displayed on the screen when you pick up one of these little loop bags. So what you want to do is in your loop bag widget over here the blueprint class the actual physical item that drops is when you walk over it, so begin overlap, at the end of each of these, what you wanna do is create widget, and then add this to the viewport, and then for the class, set this to loop bag widget. You want to do this, and if you compile this and run over it now, so let's quickly do this, let's kill an enemy. One, uh, you know what, there's way too many enemies at the minute, so I'm gonna delete maybe a couple of these just so I can easily get to my loot bag if I need to. So delete one, two, three, four, and I think that should make things a bit easier now. So if I open up my sword character, run up to one of these real quick and just start hitting it with my sword. We are, it should die in a second and you can see it's now popped up this little loot bag widget. However, there's one main issue, you can still move and also, in addition to that, you can't see your mouse cursor. So that's something that we need to fix real quick. So the way that we're gonna do this is by open up our loop, loop pickup. And one thing I am gonna do is set game paused to pause the game. And then I'm going to cast to the player controller. And with the object wildcard being get player controller, I am going to set the player controller to set mouse uh, or set or show mouse cursor, set show mouse cursor and set this to ticked to true. And hopefully now if we compile this, press play, open up our sword character and then kill one of our enemies here, it should pause the game for us with the loot bag open and then it should also, if I run over this, let me use my mouse cursor. And with this now, I can press the little X and it's going to close it and we're all good. So what we need to do now then is go back to our loop bag widget, go to our closed button, and we just need to tell it to unpause the game and stop showing the mouse cursor. So if we go to on clicked event, go to our little script here, which is just simply removing it. We want to cast to or set game paused set this to unticked, so untrue, 
and then cast to the player controller and just set show mouse cursor to untrue just like this object wildcard once again get player controller and we good there and then the other thing that we need to do to make sure that this works for both the sword character and the magic character you can see I've got two begin overlaps one for each character what we're gonna do is just copy this little bit of code here and just paste it over here and we are good so let's just drop this in compile it and then if we close this and press play, let's check out our little loot bag. So hit one of these enemies, just keep on hitting it with your sword. And one more time and they're both dead. And now if we run over one of these, it pauses the game. No enemies can run at us, we can't move. But most importantly, we've got this loot bag. And when I press close, it's gonna continue the game and we can keep on playing. And if I wanted to, I could pick up another loot bag collect the items, well the item collection we'll be doing later on, but we can close this and do the stuff that we want it to do. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for today's video. We have still got loads more to do in terms of this loot bag. We need to make it give you some random items. We also need to give it, uh, tell it to give you some random currency, but that is for later on in the series. When I say later on in the series, I mean the next few videos. But once again guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.